in an effort to move away from object-centric exhibitions and to do an exhibition that was more experiential and that also offered artists more space to actually execute a large-scale idea, large-scale project. We scaled the exhibition down in terms of the number of artists, so rather than featuring 50 artists or even 15 artists, we only have four artists in, um, in Artists of Hawaii 2017. In my show, I bring myself more openly. I express my feeling, my body, everything to the outside. Usually everything I'm so content and I don't bring my feeling outside. But for this time, I feel like it's okay. Whatever that's not clean, that's not organized, the messiness, not organized area, maybe I should bring more. On the walls, we've been projecting many maps that including shipping map, airflow, agriculture, nuclear, immigration. A lot of what we're doing here is we're taking a look at all the, the networks that we live with, that we're engaged with, and that um, either sustain our lives or control our lives. Intertidal Grandeur is a immersive video installation inspired by the Hawaii Intertidal Zone. That landscape in particular is very interesting to me because it's very mesmerizing and it's also very dangerous. The Intertidal Zone is where uh, the landscape is exposed uh, at low tide and it's immersed underwater at high tide. And the marine life that lives there needs to be particularly resilient. This piece is a projected painting and the viewer is uh, literally walking into a painting and becoming a part of it. All of the artists and artists of Hawaii 2017 work within the mode of installation. They've all created immersive environments for the visitor to experience. And my hope is that people do enter the galleries and take the time to experience the work.